Well, I suppose we're in the right building at the right time for me to ask you a probing spiritual question, are we not? So let me ask, how is your prayer life? How's your prayer life? How is your time praying every week? Are you getting some good time in, in prayer? What kinds of things are you praying about? What kinds of things make your prayer list that you actually pray for every day, sincerely pray for every single day? What kinds of uh, prompts and reminders do you use to be consistent in prayer? I imagine if we were having that conversation one-on-one, -on -one, I might hear from some people something to the effect of, well, Pastor Mike, I, you know, I want to pray more. I'd like to pray better. I mean, my prayer life's not all that it should be, but I I try, I schedule some time, I hope many of you would say that, schedule some time to pray and focus on that. I, I pray a lot like throughout the day, but you know, I don't always get that prayer time in that I would like to, but I, I do have some things I pray for every day, and maybe if you're biblically astute, you'd say, well, I like to use even some of the elements that Jesus talked about on the Lord's Prayer, the disciples' model prayer, and I, I try to have things that I'm praying about that reflect my worship of God. I try to you know, the hallowed be thy name category. I just, I want to tell God he's great. I try to be thankful for the things that he's done. I, I work on doing some of that. I certainly pray for my daily bread. I mean, I have several things in my work life and my home life that are concerned to me and my family. They have needs and I'm concerned about their lives and I love them and I, I do pray for them. I probably pray for them every day, Pastor Mike. Those are some things that hit my list every day. And of course, I find myself praying and sometimes not just in my scheduled prayer time, but throughout the day for forgiveness. I confess my sins. I get convicted of the Spirit, by the Spirit of things I've done that I know are not right and thoughts I've had and habits, and I, I, I come to God and, and I tell Him I'm sorry, and I, I ask for His forgiveness. I'll even pray that section of the Lord's Prayer where I, I don't want to be led into temptation, and I'll say to God, you know, just protect me and keep my path on the, uh, keep my feet on the right path and keep me focused on doing what's right and guard my, my steps. I, I pray those things. And if I interrupted at that point, I said, well, what about that line in the model prayer of Christ that says, uh, your kingdom come? That request. How's that request coming along? I think some might say, well, I don't know. I, I guess I've said it before, or occasionally I'll say it, or sometimes I'll try to get that feeling of Maranatha, and I, I want Christ to come, and so I, I, I guess I try it. But I would suppose if I had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with everybody in the room, that, that might be one that's very difficult for people to say, yeah, I, I pray for that, and that's, that's a regular part of my prayer. I sincerely have that as a part of my prayer life every day. I I think that might be a neglected part of what Jesus, obviously, if you think through that list, would have us prioritize right up at the top, right after worshiping God and confessing that God is great. I mean, here's the next thing, uh, your kingdom come. Well, I'd like to help you with that part of your prayer life today. If you're a Christian, I know that you know you need to pray. You probably know that you need to pray better, and you need to pray more consistently. You need to pray more sincerely. And I just want to focus on that one line right there and say, certainly, I'd like you and I to leave this building this week praying more the way Christ would have us pray as it relates to that simple request. 